What's the name of your experiment? Floating ping pong balls. Floating ping pong balls. And how did you find your experiment? Um, one, of, one of the first people that I got from Emma. And how many times did you practice your experiment? Um, three. And can you tell us the materials that you have today? Air dryer, ping pong ball, what else do you have up there? Um, that's really it. Tell us about the, just tell us the titles of the pages you have in front for display. Loading um, ping pong balls, cereal, procedures, turn hair dryer on highest setting, put hair dryer upwards so the air is blown straight up. And um, this is part of the Bernoulli principle, which is that um, um, states that airstream or fluid speeds up and increasing pressure occurs. Fast moving air will cause a drop in air pressure related to the air pressure outside the The pin pong doll will go up, but it won't hit. It'll go up, but it won't hit the ceiling. It's because the gravity is tipped down, but the air pressure below the air pressure keeps it up. Uh, we have a picture of Daniel and Mary. Tell me the title one more time of that page that has the blue diagram on it. Yes. Do you have a little title up there? What does that say? Bernoulli principle. Okay, it's about the Bernoulli principle. And before you start anything, I will have to ask Ben, well, George, you'll need to move back. But watch where you're going. I can help you. There you go. Okay, Grant, before you start, um, would you tell us your procedures one more time and what we should expect to see? Okay, the procedures are turn hair dryer on highest setting. Put hair dryer upward so air is blowing straight up. Gently place ping pong ball above the hair dryer. And um, it'll float up, and if it's not that straight, it might float like Oh, not like straight up. And the reason it won't fly outwards or anywhere is because the circle, the um, air dryer is a circle end, and it's always going that way, so it doesn't pump. That's the only way the air is blowing. There's other air it would probably blow.